So today we're talking to Erin Jeanek, Ambrosia Neldon, and Monica Rodriguez about the student media fee and about things related to media on campus. So um, to start, ladies, why don't you tell me um, what part of the media you're involved in and what your role is? Well, my name's Erin Jeanek, and I am the editor-in-chief of the Western Herald. And my name is Ambrosia Neldon. I am the news editor of the Western Herald. My name is Monica Rodriguez. I am the general manager of WIDR. Nice. Okay, so what do you think the future looks like for media on campus? Well, it looks really promising. We are creating this new structure that is going to be like an umbrella for this uh, already created entities for Western Herald and WIDR. As well, we would like to include other media related uh, outsources. So it looks really promising what we're creating right now. And student media is looking to be more aggregated. It's going to be more focused on one central website that really just aggregates links and different stories together. And then everything is still going to have their separate website. But it's really going to aggregate the news and entertainment so that students can really go to one website to get their stream, to get their feed of what's okay, going so on on everything campus. Everything combined together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. So all in one place. That sounds like it will be pretty useful for students so they don't have to navigate on different pages and websites to find something. They can just go to the one page and find it. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Because uh, what is happening right now is that when news, you just go to the Western Herald. When you want entertainment and music, you go to WIDR. So you need to find uh, different pieces uh, by themselves. But now you're going to have all together and you, you when you're focused on something, you just go there. Perfect. Okay, so there are some rumors circulating around about a student media fee. Um, would any of you like to elaborate on what that is and what that will help um, with for media on campus? Well, basically, if we do decide to um, endorse a fee, that's up to the students. They have, it's a vote. It's not anything that's set in stone right now. But if we do, that money will go towards the technologies that we need to, to create the stuff like cameras, video cameras, radio equipment, website design, all kinds of stuff like that, and for paying students. But like I said, none of that's set in stone right now. And this is really just for students to have opportunities. I mean, this is going to pay for the equipment that we use, um, but we're going to provide services to students too. Um, there's a lot of branches of the student media structure. So, you know, we're going to have news and entertainment and content with sports, and there's going to be IT, but there's also going to be marketing where we're going to have people who want to do public relations. So we can provide professional photos for, for student uh, groups. You know, we can provide filming for speeches if they need something like that. And I think that would be where YBOT would have a good opportunity to do things like that. Definitely. So, and you know, that could be in the content part too, not right. just PR. <laughs> so, do you think students are going to want to um, have that media fee incorporated into their tuition? Do you think that they will want to vote on that? Or any thoughts? I think the instructor is uh, a great idea because any university that has like their own radio station, their own newspaper is like really recognized. Like you want to go to that university. And as Erin said, that we're going to provide more services to the students that we are right now. If they are going to decide to vote, that's definitely up to them. We are uh, planning uh, some focus groups, so actually ask the students what they need, how they, what, uh, how they will be uh, available to pay. So what are the thoughts? Because this is an idea from students to the students, so mm -hmm. definitely that's going to be up to them. Mm -hmm. And a lot of um, colleges actually have the student media fee and the students pay it. Um, okay. I think Michigan State has one where you pay the student media fee, but you can get refunded. You just have to go to their office and ask for the refund. So it might be some structure like that. We're still not sure, and we're still looking for other ways of revenue. Just that would be specifically used for equipment and for giving the students the opportunities to really do this. Okay. So in the spirit of collaborating and having all of the media groups come together, how do you think that will affect us as media groups? Do you think that we will be able to work together and you know uh, find things that are common that we can work on? And 
Like, how do you think that that will benefit us as these media groups? I think Wider and um, the Western Herald both have such long histories and identities that it's going to be really hard for them to completely dissipate and disappear. Mm -hmm. So um, young, young Broadcasters of Tomorrow has only been around for a year, and look at how big they are already. So mm -hmm. I think no matter what, even if we are merging, there's no chance that they're just going to completely disappear, which is good. And I think it's where media is heading, really. It's, media is aggregated. You know, Kalamazoo Gazette and MLive and all these aggregations and working together. I think that's the way the future is heading for media. So for us to dip our hands in different pools and get all those experiences is going to benefit us for years to come. And when we want to explore future careers, even if it's not in media, it's collaborating with people, it's teamwork. I mean, people look for team building skills and ability to work well with others. And I think that could be one of the main skills you get out of this if it's not a career in media specifically. So, Awesome, awesome. Yeah. So we talked a little bit about how this will affect the student body um, a little bit. Do you think there's anything else that this might do for the students? Um. I think it's important for students to recognize that this will help out their peers that are looking for careers in media. Yeah. Not only will it provide an outlet for students to look for the news and look for entertainment, but it will help their peers. We have such a huge communication department, and there will be so many outlets in this organization for people to learn and get the, the practical experience you need. So, And I really think it's a place where like, students' voice can be heard. Yeah. It's hard when you're working with limited staff and limited opportunities. and ability to have equipment, it's hard to like get the message out. Yeah. I think if students know, okay, if I have a concern, I can approach the student media office, go in there and say, hey, I, I'm concerned about this, we need to do a story about it. They can know that that story is going to be covered. Yeah. And that that, is, that event is going to be covered. Mm -hmm. Instead of like, well, it's kind of what they pick and maybe there'll be more of a hand in students feeling like we're really the outlet to go to. Right. Because we're aggregated, because we're all working together. So. Okay. Yeah. So I'm, one area of interest for me is I'm a little interested in how students will be able to help. Right now, as far as YBOT is concerned, students can come, they can help us if they want to do filming, editing, these kind of things. How easy or difficult do you think it will be for students to want to help with this big, you know, collaborated unit and be able to get their media packages and learn how to type stories and be on the radio? How easy or difficult do you think that will be for students? I think that's the greatest thing about this organization. You can come in and you can say, I want to learn how to write, I want to learn how to be on the radio, I want to learn how to create video packages and you can do all three if you want. You can do more of one, you can do more of the other, but I think that's really great and I think it's going to provide an outlet and because it's going to be a lot bigger than it has in the past, students will know a lot more about it. So, yeah. What we're really looking forward to is not everything totally combined, like I've been saying. Really, the website is going to be combined, but it's going to be separate RSOs um, where you can decide to go to one place. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do every RSO. It's going to be, we're still brainstorming that structure, but it's definitely going to be still where you can go to one organization, you don't have to do them all, right, or right. something like that. Something that's like very overwhelming for a student who mm -hmm. might yeah, have a lot yeah. of their plate. At the same time, we would like to prepare the identities of each organization. As yeah. we just said before, we have such a long history right. that we want to actually uh, Preserve, but at the same time, we are heading to the future, so we need to work together, uh, be aggregated, and that's what uh, we are creating this structure. Mm -hmm. So, in the inside, we're going to be working together as one uh, huge thing, <laughs> uh, but uh, to we're going to deliver our product, our content to the public under or the wider name or Western Hero name. And it's not going to be easy, I think. It is pretty hard. It's a challenge. I mean, yeah. I think been, it's a challenge. We've been trying, and it's definitely such a great experience, like working through the hiccups and mm -hmm. working through everything that could go wrong. Yeah. But I think but, it's part of the, uh, like the real experience yep. of the real world. So I think that we're not that far from that. Right. Yeah. It's uh, definitely exciting. <laughs> it's exciting, especially, you know, YBOT is new. You know, we're kind of like the video part of all of yeah. this. So we're excited to be a part and get involved um, with this whole big thing. So hopefully that goes by 
you know, very smoothly. Yeah. It's, it's going to be a difficult process because we are an organization. We aren't like Wider or Western Herald in that we've been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. We're a baby organization, you know, so hopefully we can make it work out very yeah. well and it's a very smooth transition for mm -hmm. all of us right. to become and one. But we yeah. need to think it's like we are creating mm -hmm. a legacy here. Yeah. So we are going towards the future of student media and this might be hard, this might take a lot of time, a lot of thinking, but yeah. this is something that needs to be done uh, in order for our peers in the future has like a more uh, real experience of what is media in the world. And, and we want to help too. Mm -hmm. Like we want to provide, you know, that long-standing tradition and, you know, be able to offer advice if, if new organizations need advice. I mean, there's a wealth of knowledge at the Western Herald too and, and wider that we just want to provide to people. I want to help people. And so I think that's, it's just great that we're merging because the ability to do that is so much easier now to open the discussion, you mm -hmm. know, to help mm -hmm. each other out. Nice. Yeah. So do you think that we as these um, organizations will be put into one building or do you think that we will have our respective buildings that we kind of have currently and then just sort of work together through that? Or do you think that they will try and put everyone together somewhere? Something we've talked a lot about in the meetings is eventually moving into one, one main area to share resources. It's a lot easier, I think, to, if we're sharing resources to be in the same place mm -hmm. to have those. Um, I don't think that's going to happen overnight. It could take a while. And I think um, something else to point out is that if we do get the student media fee, that none of that money will go towards getting a new building. So we're looking into other ways to raise that money. So. Awesome. Yeah. So that, that money um, mostly will be going into the equipment and things like that that, are, that we'll be using for covering all mm -hmm. these things and you know, getting information and news to the students? So yeah, that's mostly uh, yeah. operation itself. Okay. And if there is a new um, Bernhard Center, if they mm -hmm. make a new student media or student center, we really have been pushing to get the student media in that center mm -hmm. so oh, that it becomes okay. a hub. You know, it becomes a, a buzz. You know, mm -hmm. people go in there to not just offer story ideas, but have discussions. They can meet and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Right. So, Great. Yeah, we're really excited. That's <laughs> so exciting. I think that it's going to be a really good thing. I was a little nervous about it at first. Yeah. But especially from hearing how you all feel about it, and mm -hmm. I, I think that it's going to be good for us. I think yeah. that the students are going to like it. I think that we will be able to work it out. We'll be able to you know, work with each other and mm -hmm. share information mm -hmm. and resources and then it won't be so costly because we'll be sharing exactly. everything. Exactly. Yeah, uh, and it's normal that in this process that we feel anxious, that we feel like, oh my mm -hmm. God, what is going to happen? Like we feel so, uh, like we don't know what to expect, but if we have like the great attitude to work together that actually um, make all the things work and that we're going to be this how I call it, like this big umbrella, and we're just going uh, to work under that, I think that it's going to be good. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you, ladies, for coming no in and talking yeah. to me today about the student media fee and media in general. We really appreciate you having here. Um, it was really nice talking to all of you. So um, 